internet. I say internet because somebody called me out once. I posted a video on Facebook and I said, in the video I said, greetings YouTube or vice versa and somebody called it out. So now I just say internet. So it's universal. Anyway, so today I am predicting a huge improvement in handling for that car. Uh, what we've got here, we've got the one inch rear sway bar. It's made by ADCO. Uh, it's blue because it was actually on my white Crown Vic and I, I pulled it off before I sold the car and put the the very thin stock bar. The stock bar is like the thickness of a paper clip. I don't really think it does much. But anyway, this one, this is one inch thick, solid. I'm pretty sure it's solid and not hollow. One inch thick, solid sway bar. In my opinion, Probably the best bang for the buck upgrade for these cars. It keeps the rear end flat and corners. You can corner these cars much harder uh, with this sway bar. And it costs about $100, $180 and of course labor's free because yours truly is installing it. So um, that, that is my favorite upgrade for these cars. It'll take me about an hour to install it. Uh, the other thing you see is the Coney shock absorbers. Now, little fun fact, I've been and I've been I've had probably over a dozen of these cars. I know all the tricks and hacks. Obviously, Coney does not make a shock absorber for a Crown Victoria. They are an upper level shock. They would not be caught dead making shocks for a Crown Victoria. It would tarnish their name. Nobody'd buy Coney shocks. So here's a little secret. The S197 Mustang shocks, that was a Mustang from 2005 to 2014, will fit the Crown Victoria. So I ordered a set of Coney shocks for a Mustang. And from the research I've done, the valving is the same. Um, maybe a little heavier on the Crown Vic, but from what I gather, they are the best way to go about uh, doing a performance upgrade on your on your Vic for a shock. You have to go with the Mustang shocks. The only thing is the bottom spring perch on the Crown Vic is a bit wider than the Mustang. So I have to do what they call a, <laughs> what they call a ghetto washer. So it'll be a, a couple of washers each side of that just to keep the shock straight in the perch and um, keep keep funny stuff from happening. Anyway, so with this, with these two components, I would think it's going to be a dramatic increase in the way that the the Crown Vic feels. The back end's been a little bit hoppy since I did the the lowering, so I'm pretty sure that's just because lowering, putting a shorter spring, um, exacerbated a worn out shock that I probably had on the Crown Vic. So take me about an hour. I'm I'm guessing probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to install everything. I'll do a video when everything's installed, and I'll do a video after I drive it. So that's that. All right. See you soon.